My name is Jodi Antelfia. I am from the island of Jamaica. I have been having evil attacks, um, nightmares, and um, spiritual husband. I am a teacher by profession. I have been to interviews, but I was rejected. You know, whenever these attacks come in the dream, it set me back somehow. You know, at night, I find it difficult to sleep just because of the attacks that I would constantly receive from my spiritual husband. It has been so much, and I reached out to someone. And they gave me your contact. That was how I was able to connect to the ministry. And this has led to lustful thoughts, masturbation and things. Yes. Whenever I have these attacks in the dream, this is the result and trust me, I really need to stop. No matter your weakness, don't worry. Jesus Christ is willing and able to strengthen you in that weakness. He's able to help you get back on your feet and keep you from making the same mistakes again. In the mighty name of Jesus! Man, every shade of darkness and light. Zoom by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire! <laughs> Speak up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you have no choice. Uh, she will not escape this time. <laughs> not this time. Mention your names as spirit of what? <laughs> You know us, you know us. <laughs> the spiritual husband, the, the one that God have for her, she will not get him. Who else is inside this body besides spiritual husband? There are so many religions. But what open door was in her life that allowed you to enter? Doubt! Doubt! What did she doubt? The promises of God for her life. So, you spiritual husband, you legions, all of you demons, there's nothing you can do to hinder the promises of God in her life. She's a destined child. And it's time for all of you to go and never return. Oh, come out of her! I think Jesus. <laughs> all of you move out of here. Move out of this body! Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. How are you? I'm okay. What was happening to you during the prayer? During the prayer, this power, you know, take hold of me. I, I just couldn't resist. Um, like something inside of me was actually trying to fight, but I managed to, to pull through. But, you know, it was God himself. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ has set you free. Yes. All right, it is well. You have a very mighty testimony coming your way. Amen. I pray that I will get a new job. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Thank you it's so much. It's just around the corner. We thank thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My name is Jodi Antelfia, and I am from the island of Jamaica. I just want to use this opportunity to thank the living God Almighty, you know, for um, using this wonderful ministry to bring forth deliverance in my life. I was given the number of the ministry by a close friend of mine, and I decided to reach out. Something happened that, you know, that was actually one of the main reasons why I decided to call to share the testimony. The meeting was scheduled for 11 p.m. And then about 9.30 there about, I ended up falling asleep to the glory of God. You called me and you woke me up. <laughs> and then that was actually how I managed to join the meeting. And I'm like, oh my God, what if I had missed this opportunity? And you know, I just want to thank God for that because if you didn't call me, I would have missed out on the deliverance, you know, and I am just grateful to God. When I joined and when I was telling you all that I was going to, you were like, okay, yes, you can see them. And I'm like, whoa, God, you're telling me that you're so, you're just on the spot. And when you stretch your hand out and you said, in the name of Jesus Christ, and then the, 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 the demon, the unclean spirit, which was the spiritual husband, the one that was in my womb, he started manifesting. So fire, 
was reaching him down in my womb and I could feel that the spirit coming up. I could feel it right through. You know, the power of God was just so amazing. And, uh, you know, I remember telling you that I am out of a job. I am not working. I have been to interviews and, uh, you know, it was just a lot of disappointments. And I was praying and I was just asking God to locate me. I, I didn't know how he was going to do it because the truth is, here in Jamaica, it is very difficult to find a living church. So I have been searching just to get a solution to this problem and, you know, it was to no avail. But I was just so happy the day I connected here and God located me. One day last week, I received a call for a job to, you know, to come in for an interview on Wednesday. And, you know, I'm just here, confident more than ever that you know the victory is already won spiritually and i am just here to thank god himself and i am also thanking god for allowing you to make yourself available because you know you could have declined that because of your obedience i am here to return glory to god and to promise him that i will serve him henceforth amen hallelujah thank you jesus yes. thank you jesus wow what a wonderful testimony and we know yes. that this is just the beginning <laughs> the best it's yet to come. We are keeping you in prayer for your interview. Hmm, don't worry. Thank the you. favor of God is upon you. Hmm? Thank you so much. You I will see favor, it. favor, favor continue to come I your way. I receive it, yes. God has been faithful indeed. He has been so merciful. Now, um, I had an interview last week and when i got the call from the principal he told me that the position was for eight months now i said okay in a situation right now that i am desperate and you know i will take anything that comes my way i was so happy when i heard about it but you know i was still worrying about what will happen after that eight months if i don't you know get another job and um when i went to the interview they called me about three hours after to say that I was successful, I was happy. But you know what stood out the most is they said that I was successful to the point that they didn't put me on the eight month um, contract. So they gave me a contract that is renewed every two years. I mean, look at that, this could only be God. I mean, it is a permanent job. It's just that your contract is renewed every two years and after every two years, you will get a gratuity, you know, an amount of money from the government. So I was just so excited. I mean, I am so grateful to God. Also, I see where God is moving me to another level. Ever since you prayed for me, I was led by the Holy Spirit to start a book. So I am currently in the process of writing a book. The topic of that book is Overcoming the Unseen Enemies of Humanity, A Guide to Spiritual Warfare. So I know that that book will be you know, a spiritual eye-opening to most people who don't really understand the reality of spiritual warfare. Uh, a very good friend of mine, he even offered to publish the book for me. This can only be God. Yeah, I said, I have to come back to share my testimony, you know, just to return all the glory, all the honor to God and, you know, the Holy Spirit that is active at work in your life. I must say I am so grateful and I just want to continue to maintain that, that spiritual bond and fellowship with God.